Pete here with the Small Business Resource Center with the Thursday update for the CDC stimulus package, unemployment, and more. So stay tuned. Of course, uh, President Trump, he had stated that he wants a second stimulus bill to come out to families right now. He wants it to be a larger stimulus bill, and he's urging Republicans to, you know, work on this quickly. <clears throat> Last week, Congress set up a payroll tax cut waiver to forgive the executive order on the payroll tax cut so you don't have to pay the amount back. And right now, the House Republicans and Democrats are working on a $1.5 trillion bill called March to Common Grounds Act. Now, Nancy Pelosi said that she would agree to work on the stimulus package and not go on recess till everything's done, so that's a good sign. And they both agreed to take action now because they realized they need to do something. You, you know, I hate to be the devil's advocate, but it's probably to be done before the election because they realize it's gonna hurt all of their chances of getting reelected if they're up for reelection. Tomorrow, I will be launching the petition for the $10,000 EIDL. I worked on setting that up, but I've been busy. Keep in mind the petition that I wanna do is not just to give people the EIDL grant or something, it's all inclusive. And that's because of the simple fact that there's been so many problems with the EIDL. Um, and the EIDL, it basically, um, well, there's S4227, which is great, but there's still some things missing in my opinion. And I'm gonna put up a petition and hope to get 100,000 signatures and include all the senators, Congress, and make sure everybody gets a copy when this is signed. So that petition's gonna be live tomorrow, stay tuned. Oh, and when it comes out, make sure you share it with everybody. Um. All right, and as far as the new stimulus bill, it's called the March to Common Grounds Act. It's from 50 Republicans and Democrats that work together. Basically, the group is called the Problem Solvers Caucus. The thing that I find strange is I looked up that when I heard about it. Seems like they established in 2017, so I don't know why they did not start working on all of this before. All of a sudden, this group seems new. Well, it's new to me, and I've been following all of this. I'm sure a lot of you may have been following it too, so why did they not problem solve in July and waited, you know, right before the election to try to work out all these details? I'm sure you guys are wondering the same thing. But the Problem Solvers Caucus basically came up with many of the things that we were talking about. That would be a $1,200 extension or $1,200 stimulus checks like they had before. They would also include adults, dependents at $500, and then also unemployment compensation, which is a little bit different. They said they would do 450 for six weeks, then 600 for eight weeks, but they wanna cap it at your full-time income, so you can't get more than your full-time income. Also, food assistance, post office assistance, rental and mortgage assistance, PPP loan assistance, which will be refunded, money for state and local governments, and money for coronavirus treatment, tracing, and testing, as well as schools. So the new program, of course, will extend your pandemic unemployment assistance to January 21. Um, it would be $500 billion for state and local government jobs. With that also that money, the Republicans are a little bit more supportive because they're not gonna just give them the money. They have to prove they need it. Uh, so of course it's not a blank check and then who knows what happens to the money. It's a hundred billion for vaccine testing, tracing, treatment, and healthcare. They also have money for daycare and child providers because we all know that's important. 25 billion for farmers and um, Additionally, this bill would include a provision that if they need more money, 500 billion would be available later on in the year. So keep in mind, even though it's a $1.5 trillion bill, technically it's a $2 trillion bill because that would be an automatic, doesn't have to be gone over again. So I think this is a great program, but Nancy Pelosi currently, even though she said she's working on it, it's not in 100% agreement with this. She's still pushing for the $2.2 trillion bill. And Trump did say he would like the
the Republicans to do more, and he would actually like larger stimulus checks going out to the people. 1.5 million unemployment and PUA claims have been filed since last week, and many people are worried about the looming foreclosures and rental evictions. And the main reason is because at the end of last month, that is when the three months expired for rental evictions in some states. And I actually, based on experience, have talked to other landlords who are ready to try to file because unfortunately some people have not been paying. <clears throat> and of course, there was a, technically three months of uh, forgiveness for, for paying your mortgage there. So that's basically looming too. And the CDC basically said they expect a vaccine to be ready by the end of the year. In January 21, they would um, be distributing. So keep in mind what they would like to do first is get this out to first responders and frontline workers and then go from there. They haven't disclosed exactly. And they, CDC is actually stating this other thing. They don't expect things to go back to normal until late 2021. So that's approximately another year from now. Um, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Of course, none of us know. But the one thing I wanna keep in mind is an important fact. That important fact is flu and cold season is coming along. So you may wanna tell people you know. If the flu normally comes in the winter, we may expect that the coronavirus being a similar type of uh, virus may also increase in the winter. So if you're older or you have, uh, you know, you're in that risk factor group, you may want to be more cautious in the winter than you were now. Um, I have talked to a lot of older people. A lot of them have the perception of, I'm not worried about the coronavirus anymore. But, you know, nobody can exactly say what's going to happen, especially keep in mind in the summer, do you hear of anyone getting the flu or the cold? <laughs> not really. Barely, I should say. You can usually say, meet one or two people, say, oh, I got a summer cold. You know, something happened. They went to the doctor and they said they got the cold, cold virus or whatever it was. So watch out for an uptake in the coronavirus very soon. I'm That's my uh, speculation. Well, it's Pete with the Small Business Resource Center. If you're new, smash the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Comment below. Let me know what you need. If you're a returning subscriber, of course, thank you very much. And everybody, have a great day.